Hey crew, Conrad coming at you with a classified ad review on this rather unique mid-engine sand car based out of Michigan. It's super cool. I want to point out a few things that I noticed. So without further ado, let's jump into the detail. All right, so this car is brought to you by Sand Car Buy Sell crew member Andrew Duncan. He is asking 18000 or best offer, which is a great deal if you ask me. He's located in Michigan. Let's see what he states. Two-seat mid-engine A-arm five-link sand car, twin turbo Subaru EJ20, new 2D winter of 2021 with deco case. Fox coilovers, also new in the spring of 2021, is flywheel, six-puck disc, stage three pressure plate, pressure plate, Stage 3 pressure plate, high torque starter, JMR slave cylinder, all heim joints in the back, two new RBP wheel bearings, put 10,000 into it that spring, have a bunch of extra parts that go with it, only driven one day this summer. So I'll tell you what, sure sounds like this car is ready to go. Let's jump in and take a closer look. Now, Andy didn't mention who built the chassis, but I'll tell you what, by looking at it, it really looks to me like a Tech 3 that was based out of Oregon a few years back, but it's got a little bit of a different A-arm front end on it, so it looks like this was probably modeled after a Tech 3. I'm not exactly sure. We'd have to ask Andy to find out, but it's just a super bitchin' build. I love the short wheelbase. The A-pillar, right? I'm a big stickler for the roll cage designs. We've got a real high A pillar with a tight bend on it. He's got a grab handle in this right here. B pillar coming down, tying in, and then to the back, right? So this is gonna be a lightweight, long travel car. So what do we have? A five link rear suspension with a single Fox coilover on the back. A arms in the front with a single coilover as well. It looks like some big front tires, spindle mount wheels and a nice set of paddles on aluminum wheels. But I'll tell you what, that's about all I see on this shot. Oh my gosh, wait do you see the, the, the side panels though. That's, that's the one thing that, beyond the twin turbo Subaru. All right, I'll stop geeking out, check this out. Okay, so in all of my years of duning, I've never quite seen side panels that do this. I did reach out to Andy to ask him for sure. So check this out. We have got, I don't know, what, like a six inch length between the elbow bar and out and then down. Beautiful side steps that lead up to this. Does this not look like an air intake on a jet fighter of some sort? I, I don't know much about jet planes, but I know I've seen a few of them that look like that. This is actually a functional air intake for the radiator. The intakes are on both sides of the car. I just think it's super cool. I geek out on it. I'm like... Wow, great job, Andy. I mean, that was some forethought that went into that. I mean, the way if you look at the way the, the front end comes in here and they just follow the line and just bring this out. Like, the lines just flow on this. It's just a really, really neat design. So we've got some race car inspired things as well. We've got some rear view mirrors on it. And then we've got some tubing that's been welded on to protect those mirrors from the trees. Hey guys, I haven't been to Michigan. I haven't done those yet, yet. I will be going to the 2023 Buggy Builders show. I think it's Buggy Builders show, right? Who wants to show me around the, the dunes out there? I'm going to come check that out. It's on my calendar somewhere. Anyway, I digress. Check out the lights. It's like port starboard lights. I don't know if that's on a, from a boat or an airplane, but that's a great idea. We've got four KC lights on here as well as a light bar across the top. Check out these A-arms. Built really, really well. What's... Oh my gosh. And then I was wrong. The first picture that we looked at, I said that it had spindle mount front wheels, but I just saw a brake line. I was like, wait, where's that brake line going? We've got spindle mount front wheels with disc brakes. You typically, usually, almost always never see this style. Let me get back to it. Right here, this style of front wheel with a disc brake. That is super trick. I, I don't know. I almost, I gotta see this car in person. When I go to Michigan, somebody's gotta, we gotta do a walk around and get a tour of this car. Okay, we're back. So, little front bumper up the front here. We've got, like you mentioned, the Fox coilovers. We have a remote reservoir on the front of this as well. I love all of the bracing in here. So if you happen to stuff this car, you're gonna be well protected. Uh, triple razor front tire on there. And let's see, I guess that's about all I see. Let's check out the next photo. Next. Let's jump into the interior. So it looks like we've got, I think that's Corbu, Corbo. I don't know how to pronounce that. Do you guys know how to say that? Brand, suspension seats, five point harnesses. You know I'm always pushing for safety. So we've got a nice set of belts on it with the five point harnesses. The headrests are tall on the back. Look at the steering hanger on this. Like somebody spent some time. Looks like double, right? Digital dash with a shade on it. So you can see it when the sun's glaring through. 
Looks like standard CNC pedal assembly of some sort. Cable shifter right here. These are one of the best shifters you can get for your sand car. This is a really nice setup. I like how the placement is where it's easily within reach. Also quick release steering wheel and a windshield. So really nice framed in windshield. One of the things I like about this as well is the windshield takes up almost the whole windshield frame where a lot of guys with the aluminum, they go really far in and it takes up your visibility out of the car. I'm a huge proponent of visibility. So that's a really nice windshield that somebody designed and built. We've also got the fuel filler right here, which is easily accessible. No having to figure a way to get your fuel in the car. Nice setup. Looks like we have some sort of a trunk right here. I gather the radiator's hidden somewhere down in here. We've probably got a, a storage in that as well. Rear view mirror and, oh, there's your paddles. Er Next. All right, let's jump into the business end. So here's that Mendiola with the cable shifter. You see this one's routed around this side and then you have this cable running front to back. So what this does is when you actuate the shifter, the forward and back cable is where you're gonna be moving from first to second to third to fourth, right? And then the side cable that comes around here, whenever you shift it from side to side, first to second straight back, second to third is crossing, you're moving that hockey stick in the transmission to select your gear. So these cable shifters are pretty fantastic. I'll, I'll stop going on and on about them. I like the rear bumper, it gives you some protection over the nose cone. Here's that five link setup. Looks like we've got disc brakes in the back, dual exhaust, super nice on a four cylinder, right? Twin turbo four cylinder, this car has just got to scoot. Also, if we look at the shock mounts as they come up through here and then the lacing that comes down, structurally it looks like this car is built very, very well. I I saw this on the back, Razorback Buggies. I did a little bit of research on it. I couldn't find anybody with a company that was called Razorback Buggies out of Michigan, but perhaps that is the company name that built the car. Here's a shot of that rear view mirror. I also did notice, look, you've got a gauge up here as well as the, here's all your switches. How awesome is that? So you literally can sit in the driver's seat and just reach up and flip all of your switches. That's also got a little bit of a, it's like the old, like the race cars. They bring that down, that sun visor to keep the sun out of your face. This is a really, really nice setup. Let's talk about the paint detail. Orange frame, chrome arms, orange carriers. I love the details like that. This is just a super bitchin' setup. Okay, next. All right, so here we've got a closer shot of that Mendiola transmission and the shifter assembly. We can see the turbo peeking out right here, right? So it looks like we've got them set up on either side of that EJ 2.0 Subaru four-cylinder engine. I've run a 2.0 Subaru with a single turbocharger on it before. They're a lot of fun. They're kicking the pants. I'm really curious of how that dual turbocharger setup works. I'll also see some taillights built into here as well. We've got a vent coming up here high torque starter oh we've got some straps suspension limiting straps on here as well all right next now here he is catching some air in the car really nice setup you guys in michigan cracks me up that you have to run the whips on the very front of the car of course it makes sense right at the end of the day that's a better location as far as cresting dunes and whatnot. You know, here in the Southwest, we run our whips in the back of the car, but I've always found it odd to see these whips up in the front. Here's those lights, We're looking at more structure, really nice set of side panels, nice paint job on there. It looks like maybe even some comp cut paddle tires, but he's giving you an idea, of, right, of this car's built really well. All right, so let's see. I think I've got one more picture and we'll go ahead and close this out. So imagine yourself rocketing around in this car. I'm doing it right now. Look at it. I put my head right over the seat. For more information about this car, reach out to Andy on our Facebook page, Sand Car Buy Sell Crew, or you can leave a comment in the description below. Oh, and also before I forget, pick up your merch at sandcarbuysell.com. And if you feel it in your heart, Go ahead and donate via Patreon. A little bit goes a long way to bringing you more epic content on the Sandcar Buy Sell Crew YouTube page. Or subscribe. It's free. Otherwise, that's all I've got. Thank you for watching. See you in the dunes.